What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Playing some more modern today. Oh, uh, one thing I wanted to mention was that in the Angels, the Black White Angels deck that's up on YouTube right now, um, some of you guys were a little uh, put off by uh, the negativity in the beginning of that video, and um, you know I wanted to make it aware that I'm aware of it. You know, seven, nine, and nine. We have three different versions of Verdur and Enchantress, which is tilting me right now. But like, it's never intentional when I'm negative like that. And I try not to be, but sometimes it does get to me. Um, I think the reason was that because we were trying to do well, we were uh, playing a deck that seemed really good uh, on the surface and we just kept losing to mono red. Um, uh, and it was just kind of frustrating. And uh, you know, sometimes it gets to me, you know, it's not, I'd like to think that it's not a regular thing and it doesn't happen a lot. Um, and then I that I try to own up to it whenever it does happen. So, um, yeah, if, if that was off-putting, if you guys, uh, you know, didn't really enjoy that, I do apologize and that was not my intent. Um, thankfully, I think the video does pick up and we do get a little more uh, lighthearted and jovial, which is why I, which is what I, what I, I try to do. And, um, yeah, just wanted to... Uh, <clears throat> Make it known that I am aware that there was some negativity in the beginning of the, beginning of that video, and um, which was not my intention. So uh, hopefully that's good. Today we're going to play a, uh, a deck submitted by Bill Brown, and uh, it's kind of an enchantment deck. And basically, we want to play a turn one of these things into a turn two anything over here, anything in this column. Uh, including Course of Crucifix or one of the Enchantresses. And then we have Eidolons, Ley Lines, Sphere of Safety, Sigil of, of the Empty Throne, and Emrakul are the win conditions. And presumably we can get to a point where we get to cast Emrakul, but it seems ambitious. It seems ambitious. And uh, one thing I do want to say uh, immediately, I usually don't like to make changes before I play the deck, but one thing I am looking at is the fact that we have three Temple Gardens, and we have four Utopia Sprawls here, so I can't see a reason why why we would have. We just I think we have to, the full suite. Sun Petal Grove is great, but I'd rather have to make sure we have a land to put a Utopia Sprawl on. Same thing with Windswept Heath. Um, Canopy Vista does want two basics, which I don't even I don't even think we really need that much. Like, And the problem is, like, you can't play a Canopy Vista on turn one and then Utopia Sprawl it, right? And I don't want to be searching out basics when we have uh, double white, double green cards. So I'm going to be honest, I don't even like Canopy Vista here. Nope, don't like it. I'm going to add two more Windswept Teeths. Cut two Vistas. I would almost rather have the one from um, the ones that cycle. What are those called? Anyway. Anyway, we'll try it like this. I like four Temple Garden and four Windswept Heath. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna try it like this, obviously. Um and see how it goes. The cards you might not be able to see over on the side. are uh, Luminarch Ascension, Rest in Peace, and Stony Silence. So, Oh, the cycle lands are called Bushy Hedges. Okay, let's look at Bushy Hedges. I feel like you lied to me. Scattered Grove, is that what it is? Yeah, the Forest Plains, they need a battlefield tap and you can cycle them. Yeah, being able to cycle them is pretty, pretty nice. Either way, we're going to play it like this to start off. Oh, it could be hedgy bushes. That's true. Well, I mean, for me personally, there's nothing more like I don't I want to say demoralizing, maybe like upsetting, I guess. Then like making a video and being like, "Wow, I think this this play session went really well. This stream went good. I hope people like this deck." 
and then having the comments be like, man, you were really negative in the beginning of the video, right? Like that's so, and and it's not frustrating from, you know, because of what they did. It's, it's all, it's all me. I'm like, Oh God, I can't believe it. Like, I feel like I ruined the video by being overly negative in the beginning of it or, you know, for whatever duration of time I was negative and it just kind of sucks. Like I, it sucks because it's like, you can't take that back. You can't be like, Oh, well I'll just redo it less negative. Cause it's like, well, it's, it's already done. So, I mean, in a sense that like, like that's one of the costs to doing, to doing videos the way I do it because you're alive. Right. And you get one shot and we're just, and I'm just uploading the streams as they happen, which are all live. So, you know, it's kind of like, well, I was, upset that day or like I was having a rough day or like you know I was hoping to not face this right well you know whatever whatever the case may be you know and uh you're getting the very real version of whatever happens and uh you know when it, you know the YouTube comments are basically you know like hey man it's it's off-putting when you're this negative and I'm like well yeah it's it's rough and I hate it I don't like being that negative no one no one probably likes being that negative man there's always like one stray hair that like gets on the wrong side of the part uh no one likes being that negative but like the problem is like when you're re when it's when it's real and in the moment like you know it's hard to choose to just be literally be positive all the time and never express any sort of negativity it's difficult that's a difficult thing to do i think for anyone and um you know so i i, I want to apologize but that like that it that it ruins the experience or that it makes the experience more negative uh, because that's never my goal, obviously. But, um, you know, it's hard to apologize that negativity affected me. Because that's like, that's just that's just being human, you know? Like, it's really hard to be like, oh, I'll just never be negative ever when I'm being real. Like, when I'm live and being real. I'm a real person, you know? I'm like a real dude right now. Like, in my life, just talking to you guys. And, you know, it's hard. It's hard to not be negative when you feel negative. When, like, something negative takes over. It's, like, hard... Even if it just, even if it's just momentary and it just washes over you and you're like, I'm going to be negative, I'm going to get out of my system, and then I'm going to move on, you know? Even if that's what happens, like, you still have that moment of negativity that's conveyed. And, um, you know, it's hard when people are like, don't ever do that. And I understand it. Like, I understand it from a viewer perspective when people are like, you know, it's, it makes for a worse viewing experience. I get that. I totally get that. That makes total sense. Um, but, I mean, it is hard to... Like it's, it's a, you basically comes down to like, well, I don't know what to do about that. You know, like I can't, it's literally, you're basically saying like, look at life in such a way that you'll never have a negative experience. You know, like, I don't know. It's, it's a, it's a really weird, it's a, it's a weird kind of like situation where like, I understand what people are coming from, but like also on the same hand, like it's hard to really, it's hard to find a good solution to something like that because it's just, it's going to happen. Like life is going to happen. I'm going to be upset every once in a while. Like I'm going to have off days, you know? And like, ideally you'll just be able to forgive it and be like, Hey, you know, it happens. I, I know this isn't your, this isn't your default personality. This isn't your default mode. So I, uh, you know, it, it sucks. It sucks that it happened. And then we just sit here and wait in this queue. The modern queues have been uh, been something recently. I think the problem is there's another very popular streamer who doesn't seem to be negative about anything, conflict or otherwise. I don't know who that is though. That, I feel like that could be a bunch of people. And before the comments complain, no, the comments, like, don't get me wrong, guys. My YouTube comments are usually very, very good. My YouTube comments are usually filled with mic memes and, and stream memes. And, and you guys, if you guys are commenting on YouTube, don't get me wrong. Like, you guys are great. And a lot of the criticism for the negativity was very positive. And they were like, hey, just, you know, I just wanted to, I just wanted to reach out. Like, a lot of it was cool. Like, I didn't mind it at all. I'm never like, oh, no, this is, how dare you, uh, how dare you mention this to me? Like, it never, never came across like that. Don't get me wrong. I'm not like criticizing YouTube comments in any way, shape, or form. That's not what I. That's not what my intention was. All right. Well, this is an interesting hand, but we do get Wtopia sprawls, I guess. 
ideally they're playing mono red and we get this Leyla on turn one. Right for the heart they go. <laughs> oh, Lord. See, that's funny. Oh my god, what if it is a burn deck? That's hilarious. Arbor Elf, huh? That's pretty good with the with these bad Larrys. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.
Well, we're not playing that guy. Targeting, sure. I feel like you should have probably done that before I drew the card off Ghostly Prison, but... Come on, Sphere of Safety. I think if we play Sphere of Safety, we can't lose, but... I was like, what are they tapping mana for? Are they going to pump this guy? No. they have. We have a Ghostly Prison out. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, we are locked out of casting anything for the rest of the game now. Last night while drafting key with my friends, I made a bad keep with Boros, Signet, a Johnny Vengeance, and five lands. I was running 16 lands, so I took the chance. I proceeded to draw four more lands and thought of you, chat, and all the fun times we all have here. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Eidolon of the Great Revel, guys. Eidolon of the Great Revel. It's not targeted, right? <laughs> oh, boy. Let's bring in this other ley line. That's probably the only thing we want here. God, I just don't want the Emrakul because I feel like it's such a bad top deck. Oblivion Ring could be fine, I guess. We also have two Oblivion Rings to get rid of that dude. I think this is I think we're actually okay I just don't think it's like I think we just ran really bad there <laughs> which is sad Okay, let's keep this again. I really don't like playing Temple Garden on turn one untapped against the red deck, but Greater Ormancy is pretty good here, so. Let's get back to Frank playing Prison. This isn't even a Prison deck, man. I got like, I well, it's got Ghostly Prison right there in the deck. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's basically a Prison deck. Let's add a green. It's more of a jail deck with a prison vibe. Yeah, that's fair. It's more of a state correctional center with a with a prison, you know, it's got a, with prison undertones, you know. Oh, they gave me a god, what a what a generous soul. I think I just want the Greater Oromancy here, but if that's the case, then we should have played Temple Garden or Canopy Vista. Probably Canopy Vista. Like, I don't want them to have, like, Wear Tear, Immediately Kill Our Ghostly Prison. I think we can play Greater Oromancy to take two. And then we can just drop the Ghostly Prison like it's hot. However, they can still burn us out today, so... Rift Bolt. Sounds good.
I create a ghostly prison. I should have been dead on a Sunday morning, banging my head. You guys know that jam? A little Creed? No time for morning. Ain't got no time. Dude, I wrote that shit. I doubt it, please. You didn't write that. Scott Stapp wrote that, courtesy of Creed. Courtesy of Creed. That's not how that works at all. We have four mana? I'd like five mana so I can play a thing and another thing, but... Oh my god. There's so many things happening right now that I'm really kind of... Uh... This guy's probably going to kill us, right? He's going to take us to the, to the wood shipper. Should have been dead on. I really don't want to windswept Heath here either. I don't want any of these lands to come into play tapped. Playing this Sun Petal Grove uh, might actually cost us the game. If you remember, we played Sun Petal Grove instead of Temple Garden and then passed the turn. If we had a Sun Petal Grove in our hand, next turn we could have six mana, which lets us play Enchantress and a three drop. So that's worth keeping in mind. Whereas now we'll have to crack the Heath if we don't hit another land that comes into play untapped. And. Uh, it will put us down to six, which is rough. What are your favorite type of bits? Uh, I like bacon bits, actually, because they're not real bacon. And they're actually pretty tasty. I feel like I might be uh, in the minority there. Maybe that makes me like an old man. Oh, look at it with his bacon bits. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. But you know what? A man can dream. Well, so now we're just going to four, and there ain't nothing wrong with that, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, yeah, so we can go Mesa Enchantress, get rid of Goblin. Oh boy, this is rough. I think we're dead. I think we have to block because any burn spell kills us. And they have two cards in hand, so we're basically dead. Yeah, we're dead. <laughs> it's not even close, man. It ain't even close, dude. That'll do, pig. Well, they don't get to attack, though. So that's pretty cool. Guys, remember when I was playing Arena and I got really frustrated when I played against Mono Red? You guys remember that? Just depends on your mindset, my dudes. I'm just going to play it my whole hand because nothing else... Ma oh, they're just going to crack this and... Are they just going to kill us in response? See, that's something I'd get upset about because that's just slow rolling me for the sake of slow rolling me. Why? Are, like, why? What am I going to have? Oh, they just... Oh, they needed out creature. All right. I got you. That's not bad. I would not have played the, the Arbor Elves. You're giving him blaze targets. You know what else I'm doing? I'm giving myself blockers for when they get six mana, which they had five of. So I'd, I'd much rather have a blocker and uh, assume they will hit one land then assume they will hit three one of the remaining three searing blazes that's just my opinion that's just my opinion got him <laughs> 100 share tax bits nice quite far behind um i feel like we want Okay, so like we definitely I don't I think canopy I think canopy vista is hot trash. No offense, Bill. It's not great. Does the deck want stirring wildwood? I think if we're gonna play something like that, I think I think two stirring wildwood is actually fine. I also think we want one more forest because come on, we need forests for utopia sprawls. Let's not be. We're losing because the enchantresses don't match. I agree with you. Three different enchantresses. 
one from ninth, another from ninth non-foil, and one from seventh. It's making me cringe internally, and I'm trying not to uh, project that onto you guys. But why well, we should have four Eidolon of Blossoms, right? I actually do kind of want a third ley line in the main deck. It just shuts off so many things. I think Mana Bloom might be too cute. Or Arbor Elf. Arbor Elf might be too cute too because it just gives them targets that they don't necessarily have. But I do kind of like being able to ramp into the three drops because I think that's relevant. Yeah, I think Corsair is also... Uh, Herald of the Pantheon was a card we tried in the previous version, and uh, it, I didn't think it was very good. Also, all things being equal, and we have more green. I don't know if we just want more Mesa, in, or if we just want more Verdurin Enchantresses over Mesa Enchantresses. All right, take it easy, buddy. Having two cards of Rotting in Hand suggests that he had Blazes, especially since he used one to kill Enchantress. Especially since he used one to kill Enchantress. Him using a Blaze to kill an Enchantress does not suggest he has more in hand. In fact, that actually suggests the opposite, because once you use a card in Magic the Gathering, you are likely to have fewer of those cards. Uh, five drop is two Sphere of Safety and two Sigil of the Empty Throne. I'm wondering if the Mana Bloom is just too cute. Like, it just seems like a two mana... I don't know. Uh, Starfield was not very good, unfortunately. Yeah, Starfield just didn't do anything for us. It was really sad. I liked the I liked the card a lot. I thought I always thought Starfield of Nyx was super cool, but doing what I do. Um Yeah, the problem with Nick's Please Farm is that it's only really good against red decks. Like we're not gonna we're not gonna play we're not gonna build the deck as if we're only playing against red decks, unfortunately. Or fortunately, I don't know, man. Thank you. Thank you. Snarky Zero and uh, Two Factor to Fiction. Thank you so much for the resubs, guys. Really appreciate it. Yeah, I know. I get what he's saying about the uh, about, about being burned out with with them. But I mean, my, my point is that like we can't just never play creatures again, or else we're never winning the game. At some point in the game, we have to play a Sigil of the Empty Throne or a Corsair of Crufix in order to get creatures into play to win the game. So like, if our goal is to never play creatures again while we're at one life against the red deck, we're not going to win the game. I mean, I, even if we play Corsair of Crufix, there's no way we can play a Corsair and get enough lands into play in between the Corsair and the Searing Blaze. So literally, there's no card in our deck that actually prevents us from dying in that situation. So like, I don't know what I don't know what like what our goal is here. We have to just pray they don't have that card and play to our like play to our outs, which would be like, okay, you you might hit a six land and might be able to attack with a Goblin Guide. So let's play a blocker. Like, I mean, that seems much more realistic than um, playing around Searing Blaze or Searing Blood when we just literally can't win the game if that's our plan. <laughs> like, we have no, well, I don't have any, I don't get to play a creature again for the rest of the game. So it's like, all right. It just seems like a really weird hill to die on. I 
I'm gonna take two cards out. It might just be two Arbor Elves. I'm not super, I think six is fine. I don't know. I wanna have a bunch of one drops because I wanna be able to go to the three drops, but whatever. If that's a serious story about someone saying you're kind of cute and then replying kind of thanks, um, <laughs> not the best reply, buddy. Not the best reply. Although her getting mad is a little, a little silly too. So this whole thing sounds like just a silly, ridiculous interaction. Uh, you know what? I'll keep this hand. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I mean, there's so many decks that just ley line just shuts down. Like, you got a Thought Caesar and Inquisition in hand? Can't do anything. All right, boop. Boop. Theoretically, like, it actually might have been better to hold one in case we play Eidolon and then we got another, another enchantment to draw. But, um, you know. We'll see. We'll see. Temple Garden, huh? Look at that beautiful Ravnica Temple Garden. They're all Ravnica Temple Gardens. All right, well, take it easy. Mm -hmm. Play Arbor first. Because if we get a land, we can play Eidolon, and then we can draw a card off the Greater Oromancy, but, you know, we'll see. If you held one, you get mana screwed. Running them both out is going to lead to Flood. Oh, dang it. I just chose poorly. Dang it. Magic's hard, man. I see. Thank That's you. problematic. Skeletal Cat, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back to the internet. Well, all right. I am not a fan of the things you're doing. Hmm, boy. I think you get matchups like this where you're like, man, I wish I didn't draw this many ley line of sanctities. Bill Brown, what's going on, buddy? This is indeed your enchantress deck. Uh, one, two, three. We have five mana. A ghostly prison would be good here. Come on, ghostly prison one time. You're not really a ghostly prison, but I appreciate your effort. So this is a creature. We could play this, then untap this and play the Utopia Sprawl. No, we can't. It's too late. Hmm. We could Oblivionering this, but I don't know what that's going to do. Are we dead? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can make one, two, three, four, five mana naturally. We can put this on here for two. And then we untap it, make three, four. I don't love that. Could play this and a blue ring, but we don't draw any cards off of it. All right, well. What's happening right now? Frank missed my other bits bits. Am I doing bits right bits? <laughs> Chair tax bit. Oh god, you guys are amazing. Hodge Galashi, I just got him. There you go. We, we did it. I saw your bits, buddy. Which is really inappropriate for the internet.
if we hit a land that doesn't deal us damage here, then we can just play Utopia Sprawl one time. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's such a good one. Now we'll name a green. And we're going to draw a card. Yes, let's do it. It's going to be an Emrakul. It wasn't an Emrakul, which I guess is good. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So can we go to three? Probably. Do we die? Also probably. The best part about Enchantress decks is people love, they, they love when they see them. They're like, this looks awesome. I like what I'm seeing here. But then we never do very well because there's such a, there's such an awkward, like there's so many possible configurations that it's almost kind of awkward to like put the correct one together. Creature instant. The fuck? <laughs> oh, the old creature instant, a classic. Oh, wow. So we're basically dead now, right? Now we got a one, I guess. You're just going to take all my Utopia Sprawls. And bounce that guy. Man, creature instant is OP. Can I, if I had to remove soul, could I counter that, you think? Our board looks pretty bad now. Uh, not thrilled about it. We go two. Seems good. What could go wrong? Everything. Everything could go wrong. What did you sacrifice? Everything. Frank, you may be behind again. Don't play any creatures. Or do. It's up to you, man. The world is your oyster. Alright, this time we're going to take the ley lines out. Stony Silence, not great. Rest in Peace, not great. Choke, not great. Damping Spur, not great. Luminarch Ascension, not great. I feel like we have a lot of control uh, answers in the sideboard. We don't have a lot of aggro answers in the sideboard. I guess we'll see if that's a problem. I guess we could just put a choke in in case they get like... I don't know, man. Like, it's better than any of the other options, I think, so. Yeah, I think we definitely want Wrath of Gods here. I will play first. That's not that's not what we're looking for here. I'm gonna keep it, but it's got this Emrakul, man. Woo! It's awkward. Yeah, I don't want to play. I don't want to play. I don't, no, I don't think they play Aether Vials. If they're if they're playing Collected Company, they're probably not playing Aether Vials. Usually, you do not play both. Also, I don't want to play Stony Silence just to blank their Aether Vial. Which doesn't actually stop their plan. Like, I mean... If it was like a Crack Crack Clan Ironworks, I would bring it in, right? Because that's that stops their plan. But... I mean, stopping an Aether Vial just means they're going to play normal magic. So... Sure, but if we didn't have any... Re yeah, I guess. I guess. Uh, Katalia is actually such a beating against us. I just ate a whole pound of chicken strips. That's <laughs> completely normal, man. Completely normal thing to do. One, two, three, four. So we're just going to play another greater Oromancy. And then all the Oromancies have, they have shroud, they shroud themselves. 
pre-cooked or after? Oh god, please be... Oh my god. Reflector Mage, also kind of a scumbag. Your dog ate a whole pound of chicken strips? I feel like you're feeding your dog way too well. Oh man. This is... Where, where me lands at? Because now even if we hit a land, we still can't play Enchantress and Greater Ormancy. However, this guy does have Shroud now. I feel like we might be too determined on... We might be too dependent on uh, Ghostly Prison. We kind of just want to play this to draw the card. Because otherwise we die. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I can't even cast that. Oh, this is brutal. Yeah, Thalia pretty much shuts us down. And now we take six, seven. Yeah, this is, this is rough. How much chili could I eat in one sitting? Well, I don't eat meat, so I don't eat a lot of meat anyway, so probably not much. If it's vegetarian chili, a lot. Which is delicious, by the way. Well, we're at five. I'm not sure we could draw here that would actually save us. Okay, sure. Ghostly Prison would be good. Oblivion Ring? Gets rid of Thalia. And we block, and then we take a lot still. The problem is, even if we hit something, we're still dead. So I think we're just, like, spinning our wheels here, as they say. Yeah, we're dead here. All right. We just need something. We need more to, like, deal with these early creature threats. I don't, I don't know if we need six enchantresses. Do I have... Why did I have to borrow this? Why didn't it just put the one I own in here? Well, that's weird. I'd go down to four here because we also have four Eidolons now. So I think that's fine. I think Shroud should prevent your creatures from being targeted by combat damage during combat. Yeah, that's a good, that's a solid strategy. Also, one thing I've realized is Greater Ormancy is just not, it's not very good in the main deck. I mean, you can board it in, but like, there's, this is often a blank. Um, that's one thing I've learned by playing this, this type of deck. So now... I'm not sure what we can add to increase our odds here. One second. Hmm. Ghost Prison's good. I might actually just want another Sphere of Safety because it's just very, very good. Uh, yeah, I like Main Deck Wrath a lot, but it doesn't... It, it kills all of our our engine creatures. I mean, we, play, we could play something like Fertile Ground instead of, like, Arbor Elf. Settle might be better, actually. Settle seems pretty good. I like two Settles here. Well, I guess there's no play. <laughs> yeah, sorry, buddy. Get wrecked. Stupid nerds, am I right? No Burt's around here, buddy. Uh, we got three extra slots now. I'm going to add one more Corsair of Crew Fix, because that guy just hits them lands.
Nyx Fleece Rams does deal with Nyx Fleece Rams. It does deal with aggro, but yeah, I still think Mana Bloom is too cute. I I, I agree. I agree with that. Because it doesn't bounce till the beginning of your upkeep, right? So it's like you're only drawing one extra card a turn. Oh god, mana. Jesus. That was a bad thing to search for. Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, it has no charge counter. So you're only bouncing it every every upkeep. It's not like you can play it for one. It bounces immediately, play it for one. It's not like you can like play it four times in a turn to draw four cards. Um... God, I really just want more Ghostly Prison. I think four Ghostly Prison and three Sphere of Safety is good. I just think we really want to hit more land drops. Maybe we want, like, two Fertile Ground? It gives us something to do on turn two. Would the Explore Enchantment? What Explore Enchantment? I don't know what that... I don't know which one that is. Frank in the Barbaro Blue, seven months strong and going. You're the only sub for me. Thank you so much, buddy. I really appreciate it. You are awesome. Oh, I don't hate Journey to Nowhere. Actually, Journey sounds real good. Don't stop believing, guys. Don't stop believing. There's a one CMC green one and say I don't know what that is just just tell me what the card is come on Ben all right uh we're gonna try it like this see if this is any better porphyry nodes was also an option I considered for sure Uh, this seems good. I will keep it. Mm -hmm. Oh, Murphy's. Murphles. Uh, let's say a white here. Yeah, Path to Discovery costs four mana. That's why I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. I was like, one mana in standard? In my standard format? One, two, three, four. We can play this as soon as next turn. All right, Sigil of the Empty Throne. Let's try not to die before that happens. Oh, they can actually make our forest an island and the Utopia Sprawl goes away. Well, this is problematic as well. Can a dude get a Sphere of Safety? One time. That ain't what we're looking for. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. If they play one more Lord, we're dead. So that's cool. We have four Ghostly Prison, three Sphere of Safety, and two Settle in the main deck. We have hit none of them. Nine cards. We have hit none of them. That is impressive. What are you doing? I'm, I'm, I'm clicking on the green. Can you add a green? I don't know what's going on. Click on the... Add the mana. All right. Well, we're probably just going to block here. Thank you.
Selfish Comics. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Two months in, and I have to say I'm glad to pay for something I've enjoyed for free close to your... Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that. 4, 8, 12, and they tapped our guy. Look at that. They had it. Never didn't have exactly 12, 12 damage. Good for them. Good for them. Good for them. Choke them out. Ley lines are gone. Probably just an oblivion ring. They had the Lord that tapped. Yeah, that's true. What do you want me to do? <laughs> what, do you, what do you want me to do? Make them not have it. Boy, if only. If only. My wallpaper right now on this monitor is Bedevil, so. Oh, we can close this, close this, and there it is. Look how terrifying that is. Jesus, that's scary. Uh, I didn't see any Aether Vials. But also, like, I want to get into a position where I don't have to worry about an Aether Vial. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Uh, snap keep. Shut up and take my money. Oh, okay. Thanks for checking out my deck. I'll be in and out. I have to go do work stuff now. I can't wait to watch the replay. Thanks as always. For the Bill Brown, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. You are awesome, dude. Sorry it took me so long to get to this, but I, uh, the cube, you know, the cube is up, so. I usually postpone all things until the cube is done because it's so, it only comes around like every two months or so, so I want to maximize my, my cube time, and I think people generally understand that, so I appreciate you guys for being understanding. Is the cube back? No, dude. It literally just left like a week and a half ago. They're not going to put the cube back up when when a new a brand new set has only been out for a week. They want to promote the new set. <laughs> they only bring... Oh, I see. I see. This is how you're going to be? This is bad because now our now our, now our our land doesn't, doesn't untap. That's sad. I think I'm willing to accept that, actually. I'm willing to deal with that. Because now they have no mana. So, seems good. Sick Mute Vault. I think we can actually just pass here, right? Next turn, play Eidolon. I can, I, I can order it now. I was actually tempted to do it. But I feel like that's a short-term gain, and we can just wait. I mean, they get to play one creature or attack with Mutavolt one time with this island, so... Wow. I see. That's interesting that you're, like, willing to tap your island... Yeah, now we're just going to play idle on here. And we still have three mana to their one mana, so I'm not like even... I ain't sweating it. Sure. Whoop! Feels like they're in bad shape, I'm not gonna lie. Guys, choke choke OP. <laughs> oh, they got two islands. They're getting there. You know what? I don't care. What are you gonna do about what are you gonna counter it? Sure. So no, return to land. Oh, he got an island back. Good for you. Choke is the best card ever printed. All right, well, I don't know about all that. What about this guy? You like this? 
You like this one? You like this card? They're going to scoop right here. This is the end. They're like, all right, you got it. No? Did I play a land this turn? I did. I played a planes. Uh, you know what? Sure. If you want to trade Eidolon for a Mutavolt. Wow, that's... <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got it. Deal. What's their plan here? I don't understand what's going on. Okay, they're dead. Thank goodness. Well, we, they had a good run. God, we just need to draw these chokes, like, immediately. Those things were... Epic. I mean, maybe they were waiting for an Aether Vial. Maybe they were just... Maybe they were just terrible. Just terrible. Uh, I think Ghostly Prison's also pretty good. So we're going to keep that. We're going to Utopia Sprawl. God, Utopia Sprawl is so scary when they have Spreading Seas, though. <sighs> Vomit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, do I want to run this into a counter spell? I don't think so. Prison good with a choke. The things you say in MTG. Eh, you ain't kidding. You ain't kidding. Yep, that's okay. Now we can... Now we can drop the prison like it's hot. No spell pierce. You had spell pierce. Must be nice. Up time, everything is all right. Now you're gonna untap your 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 manamo, huh? Yeah, this is fine. This is all fine. Can we draw settle the wreckage? That'd be gas. Oh wow. Look, they're all free because you have double marrow regeries. Dad, always have the counter spell. That's cool. Now we're dead. Oh boy, we just can't catch a break. I guess. All right. Well, adding one more choke. <laughs> um. God, good lord, man. I can't believe there's a modern merfolk deck. What does that even mean? There's so many modern merfolk decks. Modern merfolk is like super common, my dude. We have yet to draw a sphere of safety or a settle the wreckage, just to be clear. I'm also not feeling these ley lines in the main deck for some reason. Sometimes they're great, sometimes they're terrible. I think we maybe we want porphyry nodes. What does Porphyry Nodes do? At the beginning of your upkeep, destroy creatures with the least power. It feels almost a little slow. Is it too slow? What if we just had another journey to nowhere here? Alright. Alright, we're doing it. Take out the Oblivion Rings in the sideboard. Take out the... Everything else seems irrelevant. Take out one Leyline and one Luminarch Ascension, maybe? I 
I still think this Emrakul is a little bit greedy, but... Like, we haven't come close to decking ourselves in any of the games yet. I think I'd much rather have this be a card that we can cast. Alright, I'm taking the Emrakul out. Stop right now, thank you very much. Wait, what am I stopping? Have I gone too far? So two of our losses would have been... Um, is there any way we can resolve our spells better? Besage you doesn't do it. Oh yeah, yeah, Porphyry Nodes is bad because at the beginning of your upkeep, destroy the creature with the least power, so it's always going to hit our, our Mesa Enchantress or our Verdurn Enchantress. No, it was singing Spice Girls. Oh, okay, well. Totally understandable. I like that we have three slots left. Gadok Teague, it shuts off our all our main things. It shuts off all our win conditions. They're playing an aggressive deck. They're playing a deck like Merfolk or Humans or Burn. What do we want against those decks? Nyx Fleece Ram? Crying out loud. It's going to be Nyx Fleece Ram, isn't it? God, it's so Nyx Fleece Ram. That's so Nyx. Come on, we can do it. Yes. Nyx Fleece Ram does have big butts. Yeah, we'll keep this. I do like Sylvan Carry added, but it just feels like a worse Nyx Fleece Ram, right? <laughs> they don't do the same thing at all. I do like Rune Halo, actually. Rune Halo seems good. It might be Rune Halo. I keep trying to avoid it because I'm like, it's real narrow. But you got I look at it this way, right? Like, if we have Journey to Nowhere in the deck, isn't Rune Halo just a better Journey to Nowhere? Like, if we Journey to Nowhere a uh, one Meryl Regery, don't we deal with multiple Meryl Regeries from with one Rune Halo? Meanwhile, Rune Halo can also target non-creature things like Lightning Bolts. So, I mean, I don't know. I think it's actually better than, than uh, Journey to Nowhere. I actually... Yeah, Night of Autumn is actually... It's not on theme, but it's still good. Night of Autumn is a Nyx Fleece Ram. Listen, you want to gain four life from a three drop? Just wait four turns and you'll gain it from the four from the two drop instead, okay? You understand? Thought not seer. <laughs> mm-hmm. I feel like we really want a two drop or a one. Okay, well they didn't play anything, so. Noble Hierarch. What's going on here? What's happening right now? I created my own ghostly prison. <laughs> That's a, it's a Creed song, guys. If they don't have a colorless mana, though. One time, no colorless mana. Ah, oh, son of a biscuit. Lucky, 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 lucky. What are you gonna take here? Journey to nowhere? Obviously. Go ahead, take my journey. Please. I dare you. Take the ghostly prison? That's pretty good too. Take a course or a crew fix. Go ahead. I assume by Bantron you mean Bant Eldrazi because this is no Tron. This is Eldrazi. But you know, what do I know? Yeah, there's also no blue yet, so we're looking at we're looking at green white Eldrazi. 
Yeah, I meant the weird Igo Tron deck. But yeah, there's no Tron here. There's no Tron. Yeah, stop saying stop saying Tron when you mean Eldrazi the Ziggs. Get it together. Get it together. You think I should attack next turn? Just to send a message? <laughs> I've been conditioned by years of three, turn three cards to be afraid anytime I see a colorless card. Yeah. You and me both, buddy. You and me both. I'm going to add one more Settle the Wreckage because I'm getting real tired of not having a Settle the Wreckage. This is... Okay, so one more Settle. And... Uh, ruined... Ruined Hulu. Instead of Journeys. Or they take a Mesa Enchantress? Sure. Like I even have the... Oh, they didn't attack? That's nice. Apparently we put the fear in them. Oh, that's beautiful. Less beautiful that we're drawing that next turn, but, you know. What can you do? Sometimes you just draw multiple forests off the top of your library in a row when you have 22 lands in your deck. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 lands. 9 lands have appeared in the top 16 cards, and we have 22 lands in our deck, which is about a third of our deck, just to be clear. What's a good modern deck for someone just starting out? I'm reluctant to say burn, but... Oh, a Drowner of Hope is nice. Dr. Owner MD. Oh, now you're talking with both? <laughs> Please, I'll take eight. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Oh, they had to attack. Oh, because Ghostly Prison. They ha we had a ghostly prison. That's why I didn't attack last turn. Come on. Don't be an idiot. Don't be another land under there. Okay, this is actually nice because we can go like this. Corset of Krufix. We can draw this. Oh. My. God. Becky. Did you see her bottom section? I want to draw this. We're not going to be able to draw that, are we? I guess we can, if we put it on, like, if we crack, if we put it on here. Yeah, we're just going to put it on, like, here. Untap this, and then we still have three. Oh, another ghostly prison too? Oh, buttery biscuits. Dang it. Now we gotta crack it, unfortunately. That seems good. Ooh, we're going off, guys. Uh, it doesn't matter which one. We don't get the card back. We just draw a card, so... Oh boy. Oh boy. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's get in there with this this one courser of crew fix. Boy, oh boy. Oh, another. Oh, I see. <laughs> what are you going to blink? Sure. Ooh. 
What are you going to take, my dude? You got to take the O-ring, right? I don't know what. Oh, you took the sigil? Wow. Wow. All right, so we're just going to play the land. Gain dose. Oh, you're basically dead here, right? I mean, come on, dude. I love I love the Eldrazi as much as anybody, but Ooh. One, two, three, four, five. We played a land, so we got five mana exactly. Get him. This is how you get him. Hey, Seder Enchanter is better than Mesa Enchantress. Wow, that's a good point. It's also better than Verdura Enchantress. Huh. See, this is why I love streaming these, because, like, you guys can find... There's too many cards in Magic. There's, like, 14 billion cards in Magic, right? So, like, it's almost impossible to find all of the right ones. Seder Enchanter is better. It's literally just a 2-2 with the exact same wording. Whenever you cast an enchantment spell, draw a card. This is a May ability. Whenever you cast an enchantment spell, you may draw a card, because if you're going to deck yourselves, but I feel like the situations where that comes up are far more relevant than the two power. Also, it's going to be significantly easier in this deck to have one white and one green than double white or double green. So, 13.5 billion cards? How many did I say? 10 billion? Did I lie about how many cards there were? Wow. Okay, thank you. I don't know what you're thanking me for. You helped me. I don't know if you know how this works. This is the Ghostbuster song, guys. You know the Ghostbuster song? I'm bringing one ley line, and we're just going to mize it off the in, the in our opening hand. You guys ready? Are you guys ready for the miser's... Uh, miser's ley line of the void one time. Come on. I'm about to bust. Miser's Leyline. One time, guys. One time. No, Herald of the Pantheon sucks. It's not good. Yeah, it just doesn't it just doesn't do what you want it to do, unfortunately. Like it's also not an enchantment itself, so it's pretty rough. Oh, wrong four drop. This is this hand's expensive. Three drop four 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 five. I think we have to mulligan this. I'm watching this at work. Shh. Oh, my bad, my bad. 
I'll keep this even though it's absolutely just hot trash. Because it allows us to play all the cards we draw. But it did it, it, but it did it, did it. But it 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 You know, the Ghostbusters, guys. Come on. Thanks for the cool stuff, Code. Getting me some Planeswalkers. Nice. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Yeah, if you guys head over to CoolStuffInc.com and use promo code FRANK5, you will get 5% off your purchases. And it's a great way to show that uh, we're generating interest. So if you guys are going to look for If you guys are getting cards anyway, you might as well head on over there. This is just Creature, right? All right. I don't like you. I don't like your stupid face. I don't like your stupid breed. No, I do. He's a cool dude. You can also check out my articles. I have a new article going up tomorrow about the Black White Angels deck we played, which is pretty sweet. So if you guys wanted the list for that, or if you just want to check out my thoughts on it. Wow. <laughs> I got him. Got him. When they go to get you and your hand is full of lands, who got who? That's the question. You're an article. And you spelled you're wrong. Wow. Unbelievable. Uh, I top painted a broad start with this guy in my deck. Not with not with this guy. With this guy, though. This guy's very good. Seder Enchanter. That's what we're doing. And we probably want another Rune Halo. What's Rune Halo even go for these days? I don't know. The cycle of the got and the gotum continues. Yeah, it's... It's just a real, it's a real to-do. No, not the IRL prices. Give me that moto prices. E-price. You gotta do E-price, right? This is so many yikeses for me, dog. Oh, you did it already. Uh, 209? Yeah, that's not bad. In fact, I'll do that now while we're... Why do I have the Ghostbusters song stuck in my head, guys? It's really... It's very strange. Oh, God, my nose is itching. Okay, we got a trade over here. I can bring this on the other window, the other monitor. Let's get our our final Sadal and Sadal Enchanter Sadal. <laughs> our Sadal Enchanter. You can have that. Is there a deck list for the Blackwood? It will be. Yeah, I just said it'll be up tomorrow on CoolStuffInc.com. Come on. Also, if you guys don't follow me on YouTube.com/slash Frank Lepore, like I don't. I don't know what you're doing with your lives, because that's where all my... If you missed a video or, or, a, or a stream, like, that's where they go. And I put the, the deck lists in the, in the description every single time. So... I missed it. But Brian, you are more than welcome to be here, buddy. Okay, another land. Seems good. So we drew a Fertile Ground, but thankfully it, 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 it drew us into another land, so... 
Tomorrow isn't today. That's true. That's true. It's pouring rain so hard I can only hear the stream, but the sun is out. Where are you at? Where are you at, my dude? Got him. Got that ruined halo and that satyr boy. He was a satyr boy. He said, see you later, boy. <laughs> it, it, it is funny because it is Avril Lavigne. Oh, hi. Hello. I think we can take five more, right? They can blow this up to kill our journey to nowhere and our fertile ground. That's that's not fun. It's three and a sack. So we go one, two, three, sacrifice this. Pay two, and if they have another white source, they can activate this guy, so. You know, I don't think we need more choke here. I'll be honest with you. I guess I'm just going to type angel in the arena search bar and out of the black. And that's a solid strategy. I think you'll do well. Don't forget lands, though. It's uh, 12 planes, 12, 12 swamps. Only gets creatures? What does that mean? <laughs> uh, blast zone hits all non-permanents. Non-land permanents. Destroy each non-land permanent. It has nothing to do with creatures. If that's what we're referring to. Imagine if we had quarantine field here. You could only imagine. That's true. I can only imagine. What would you play in, the, in a standard type 2? <laughs> standard mono red or esper field? I mean, that's just standard, right? What would you play in standard is what you're asking me here? Oh, displacer only hits creatures. But I was talking about them activating this to get rid of our journey to nowhere and our fertile ground. And then they can get their their displacer back so they can start blinking this and destroying our hand. Guys, just go to the go to the my YouTube page. The video is up there and in the in the comments, in the description of the video, you can find the deck list. Like it's really not This is not complicated. There's a YouTube banner right at the it's in my description. It's over there on the left. Your your right. It says YouTube slash Frank Lepore right there. You can go there. I, I upload videos there. We don't think easy in here. What does that even mean, Zaxor? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've drawn ten lands and one, two, two spells and two additional land type cards. The number of cards that do not produce land that we have that, that do not produce mana that we have drawn are two. It's uh the number is two. I easily don't think in here. Well, that's fair. That's fair. Just keep putting those angels in there. You'll you'll get it. You'll get there. Should I try? I keep touching the screen with my pointy finger, but it isn't working. Should I try my... I think you should try all the fingers, because one might work. You might have better luck with one than another. Cracking that heath, huh? Uh, 
Oh, that's going to do it. All right. You should try all the fingers. <laughs> yeah, I did say that, didn't I? This is, that's something. Yep, we're just going to submit like this. Good lord, Blast Zone is disgusting. Oh, yeah. Snap Keep. Ley Line shuts off those, uh... There's thought not seers. And there's only 22 lands on the deck, so, you know, what does that tell you? More like bus zone, busting. <laughs> I'm about to bust. It's true, it is more like that. Well, we're just going to play that now because even though it will let us draw off of Eidolon, I'd rather be able to uh, play the Eidolon next turn. Sure, you got a little chicken. Fashionable lead to the party next Fleece Ram. Oh. Now we just going to play Sigil into Nyx Fleece Ram? Oof. My buddy and me. You guys remember my buddy? Everybody remembers my buddy. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my god, that my buddy commercial. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Kid sister. You guys remember Kid Sister? Wherever I go, you go. I'm more of a kid sister kind of guy. Oh, selfish. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Opponent can displace Eidolon and mill us. We'll just have to keep drawing extra cards and then it'll kill us. Killing and milling. Uh, I'll take five here because you'll probably never, you'll never do another thing again. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. Or one, two, three, four, five, six mana. Yeah, that's fine. We still get to play this, get rid of Dr. Owner, or get rid of the Eldrazi's placer, I imagine. They could go sack, 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 blink, but that doesn't really do anything, so. Yeah, can't really do anything about that. Oh my god. Did you see his oblivion ring? It was so big.
Yoink. 4 4 Angel. Let me crack this now, actually. We could just get a basic forest. I don't think we're. Ooh! Every with every angel per with every Nyx Police Ram purchase, you get a free four four angel. Was that the Odd Couple song? Oh my God, it was the Odd Couple song. How did you know that? That's unbelievable. Why do I know that whole song? That's unbelievable, man. That's unbelievable. I'm surprised. I just surprised myself. I'm like, how do I know this whole Odd Couple theme song? Frank is trying to tell an enchanting tale today. We play both Nyx, Police, Ram, and Choke, so you have to have to stay. Drawing all the cards, rampant and hard, except when we're bored, and draw every land card. Keep making the little nerds and don't let opponents swing for free. And this and this matches will be easy as they can be. O-Ring is life and angels are sweet. So go home, Drowsy. You can't stand this heat. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Zaxor, you are you are a solid dude. Oh god, you got two? They can't go infinite, right? Because this kind of only makes two dudes. And it costs three, so. If they went training grounds, I'd be like. Hey man. Odd couple theme song, training grounds. We got it. We we know what's up. We're on the same page here. You're not even the same book club? How dare you? Don't talk to me about what book club I'm in, buddy. You're not my book club daddy. Book club daddy. You gonna tap this guy down again? You didn't? No, I don't want to draw that. Oh, it's so sad. All right, let's get slamming. They don't have Vigilance? Oh, that's sad. This card sucks. I'm Oprah's book club daddy, pernicious dude said. <laughs> yep, blink your doctor owner. I'm doctor owner. Okay. They have been tapped. Young Goat, thank you so much for the bits. Really appreciate it. I guess we'll get in there for four. And eventually you'll die. You know, that's our hope anyway. What just happened? Are they doing anything? Oh, they just blinked it. Sure. Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They have seven mana, so they could actually blink this twice, make four guys. <laughs> oh, I mean, they also can blink like twice a turn. This guy's really problematic, actually. They can kill two angels a turn, and we have to actually keep up with that. Interesting. I think Settle the Wreckage is actually just worse than the Force Sphere of Safety, actually. Now that I'm looking at it, because you want to be able to draw cards, right? So, let's add one more Sphere of Safety. I take out one Settle. I'm liking that. All right. Like, they can just blink this guy anyway, but I want them... Oh, God. 
I'm just going to print five here. What are you doing here? Wow, so many Dr. Owners. This is like the worst. This is like the worst card to be on top. You know what else is really problematic? You being Oprah's book club daddy. Did you ever think about that? Thank you. Leovold with 18 months in a row. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Let's never crack this. I want to draw the sphere of safety real bad. You don't think we can win? I don't think we can lose. I've never regretted saying anything in my life before now. <laughs> wow, that's that's interesting if true. All right, Dr. Owner, tap that angel down. Tap in my angels. Right now. Right now. And we get to draw a card off this? Oof. What a time to be alive. I'm sorry, what? I got settled, though. But they knew I had this. Why would I send in the Wildwood? They had Drowner of Hope up. I mean, they're just going to blink these two guys, which is totally fine. But, I mean, like... It still prevents 10 damage. Like, so whatever. I'll deal with it. God, this card is so obnoxious. This is a strange game. What is it, 1-1 one, one right now? Also, we have 13 minutes on the clock. They have 5, so, you know. Like you do. Play a land for free. Oh, let's draw a ghostly prison. One, two, three, four, five. F -f 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 fear. I created ghostly prison. I don't want to draw a temple garden, so crack this guy. I don't want to draw that either, but what are you going to do, you know? One, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty-four. We we have we have Emerald Manor right now, guys. So uh, that's something. We really have to find a way to get rid of this. It's really obnoxious. We'll have to win in four minutes, and it doesn't seem like that's likely. Uh, attack? No, I'm good. I guess we could have attacked with this. Then they blink it. Doesn't matter. Exactly. So what do we have? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It cost them 11, 12, 13 mana to attack with any creature. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, two of them? Well, that's going to be problematic. Nope, don't want to draw that. Oh, we'll just play it. Yeah, that seems fine. Oh, I do want to draw that.
Nope, don't like that. This one. I think we're winning this game. Yeah, you just tap those angels. We're also at 24 life worth noting, so. With three minutes on the clock, this feels like a uh, an interesting use of, of mana. But Fleece Ram is putting in some work. You ain't wrong. Wait, is it our turn again? That's fascinating. This is going to draw us three cards. Oof. Yeah, I definitely don't think our opponent has all his dust. Although, me calling all his dust would not be uh, surprising, so. Why, when I click this, it doesn't add the mana anymore? I don't, I don't really like that. No, sir, I don't like it. Oh, actually, it's always the May ability. Maybe I don't want to always yes when we have 31 cards left. Just a little dust. Is all dust? No, just a little bit. Uh, might as well use this guy, right? There we go. Now I'm getting a little afraid of all the lands in our in our deck. I think we're just gonna pass here. We have or not none of the lands, all the cards are drawing. We're at twenty four cards. We won that game. <laughs> it's all right. Well, that was the thing. So we're taking out the ver two Verdurans and the two Mesas for the two the four Satyrs. Seems good. This is a sixty one cards now. I wonder why. What are we? What did we add that we didn't subtract? Took out one settle for one safety. Do we have sixty one? Maybe it was that sixty one. That was very interesting. That was a game. We didn't have any way to win the game there. But we didn't have a way to lose the game either, so that's the... I think that's one thing I'm worried about, is like just not having a, an efficient way to win the game. You're kind of just stalling. I mean, I guess if they don't have Eldrazi Displacer, like... They couldn't win the game either. Yeah, I mean, we could have just... We could have Emrakul there for sure. But... Actually, we could probably take Fertile Ground out now. Because now we have more things to do on turn two. And then we can add the Emrakul back in. Which is actually pretty hilarious. Alright, let's try this. We'll give it one more go. Not good. No bueno.
Mulligan. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, come on. When I listen to you at work and you make no noise, I get worried. Uh, hopefully. Okay, this is the keeper. Oh, uh, I'll leave that on top. I think I'm okay. I was reading something over here while we were waiting. Misty rainforest into breeding pool. Oh, this is exciting. I has an excitement right now. Me too. I thought he went in happy naps. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I just pulled a Mike B. I was like... No blocks. No blocks. No. No blocks. I'm just gonna ghostly prison here. I feel like that's probably unbeatable, so. Next time we can uh, idle on and then courser. Oh yeah, come at me bro. <laughs> Oh, they could, but they could not come at me for they were dead. Oh, don't do that. God, I always hate when I do that. Always click the card you want to cast first, but it's hard to do because you have Arbor Elf, so. Oh, they can attack with the dude. Hmm. Or they could Dramokas command us. What would a happy naps emote even look like? I have no idea what that would even look like. Oh, it's a little voice of resurgence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God. Do you like uh, two ghostly prison? They do not. They do not like it. One, two. You just show up with your binder in your hands, you hammer and nails, and you're like, well, shit, this is not, this is not what I had in mind. Oh, wow. That's rude. Come on, let's hit a land here. Joke's on you, I got a satyr enchanter. <laughs> Evolution Sage, oh, that's gas. I mean, they can't attack, but that's still gas. Uh, let's go with a green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so we can actually play 
Ramelton. Alexander Ramelton. Oh god, if that name does not stick, I'll be so sad because that's a sick name, my guys. My name is Alexander Ramelton. And there's a million things I haven't done. Just you wait. Alexander Ramelton. <laughs> Oh, that shit's fantastic. This is the high quality content you guys are here for, I think. It should be. Oh man, please think of Alexander Ramilton when you go see Hamilton. <laughs> I am not throwing away my flock. <laughs> Look around, look around at how lucky you are to be a lamb right now. I feel like our opponent can't do anything here. Is that... Is that a correct assessment? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We actually can. We actually can cast Emrakul pretty consistently, which is pretty comical. No, I am not throwing away my sheep. Yeah, I'm not throwing my flock is pretty good. That's pretty gas. Sheepish grin. Yeah, accurate. I mean, unless they got Fracturing Gust and two more lands in the deck. I, uh. What do you got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They gotta pay 14 mana per attacker? I don't think so, buddy. We can actually find this Emrakul pretty efficiently, I imagine. I really don't want to play the third one, though, because it's a little risky. We we board, we put the Emrakul back in because because of situations like this where you get these ground stalls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen when we untap it. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen when we untap it again. So you know I'm not just stalling. I do have an out to this. It's just a one up to draw. Okay. Well, uh, Oh, I'm like, me too. Me too. I have an out as well. God, now I don't know what it is. That seems scary now. He's going to be like, got it. <laughs> I'm going to be like, oh. Sad. I don't know what your one of out could be here. I don't think it's Strangle Root Geist. 
Well, they need an extra land to hit Fracturing Gust. So, oh, and this, this proliferates pretty nice. Bane of Progress isn't even legal in Modern, as far as I know. Don't you come at me with your ridiculousness. You know, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not giving away my shot. Uh, let's play a ghostly presume. This is all of them. This is all the ghostly bassoons. There he is. Uh, so four, eight, twelve. Kaplow. I found it. <laughs> yeah, that's a good game. I'm like, yeah, she's pretty good. And I'm not throwing away my shot. I don't think Damping Sphere is great, right? Choke actually could be decent here. Stony and Rest in Peace don't seem exciting. Luminarch, nope. Um, I think we're just fine, though. I think our deck is actually pretty well positioned. They're going to bring in, like, things to kill us, though, I'm sure. Yeah, all right. It's slow, but we'll keep it. I think it's fine. Well, you would board out the damping sphere. You board out the sprawls when you bring in the spheres. God, you don't know anything. They don't teach you anything over there in Sweden, do they? You don't even know how mana works, do you, Biren? Well, they're getting a little aggressive now. I'm not throwing away my Okay. Well, we're going to be prison, prisoning up this joint in a second. Maybe we can also play Courser here. Does Damping Sphere shut off the filter duels because it makes two mana? So you're paying one and tapping the land to make one mana? That seems pretty rough. Also, if you guys are looking for some super comfortable underwear to upgrade your wardrobe with, definitely check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You will get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. So how do you beat that? 
the answer is you cannot. You cannot beat it. Oh, that was interesting. Oh, because it because it pumps that dude. Sure. Well, that was that felt efficient. Oh, little Nixleton. One, two, three, four. Alexander Nixleton. Because there's a million sheep I haven't done. That doesn't make any sense at all. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> a weird. Th yeah, we're just gonna play the uh, the most expensive thing in our hand here. Just you wait. I mean, they're probably gonna have a way to deal with this, but that's fine. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> hey, it got awkward. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> this is the Welsh version of it. <laughs> oh, crying out loud. Oh, get Teague. That's okay. The one card that get Teague shuts down is uh, we just the one we just played. This dude's a big fatty. Alrighty then, one, two. Let's play this, we'll take one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. We have six mana, so we can play like Seder into Ghostly Prison. All right, well, fingers crossed. They're digging. I saw a video about a guy who modded his Roomba to shout perfect. I saw that too, actually. This dude's a big fat fat. Cloudfin Raptor? Alright, sounds good. Guess we'll draw this. And we'll play this. Let's go one, two, three, four. Eidolons. Oh, there's a Miracle. There's there's the lady of the hour. Um one, two. It's just Nick's police ram here. Has Lowman ridden the Roomba yet? No, he doesn't like it. Um, we played a land, right? So we can just discard the Temple Garden. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. So I have to pay eight to attack. That's pretty good. Yeah, the leap was the scariest card because I didn't want them to like hit like a Reclamation Sage or a, I don't know, something that kills our enchantments, basically. Like a Deputy of Detention. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, let's draw this Setario. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight mana. I would like to draw this first, but I don't think we have a way to do that other than playing this cheap sheep. Oh, we can't even cast that because of the stupid Gaddock Teague. Ha <laughs> ha My bad. 
We're looking for Arbor Elves and Utopia Sprawls here. There's one. That's nice. We're drawing a lot of cards here, guys. <laughs> We're getting a little, uh, getting a little fat. Um, no, I think we're just gonna pass here. Let's get rid of sigils because they're gonna. Oh god. Oh god. Did they get another young wolf out of it? That seems good. Sigil, sigil. Eidolon, Eidolon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're getting close. Is there a creature that destroys all enchantments? I don't think so. I think you just destroy the one. Alright, they got another young wolf. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven. Uh, this is non-creatures. Galactique is non-creatures, so you can... <laughs> Stop saying Bane of Progress. <laughs> that card is not legal in this format. It also costs six mana. Why are you like this? <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. There we go. Oh, boy. We're doing it. Oh, boy. We're doing it. Bane of Progress. No, Bobby, no, it's not Bane of Progress. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Let's play a land. Crack this immediately. I actually want the Sun Petal Grove. I'm actually just going to pass here because if we get to untap, we get to Emrakul, so... Eidolon of Rhetoric. Okay, that's fine. There's like a fly flying around here. Uh-oh. Well, Night of Autumn, but they don't have the mana to cast it right now. And they also... Getting rid of one thing really doesn't hurt us that much. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15... A miracle. I don't have the white gear hulk. Like you guys got to keep in mind, they only have like this is a deck that doesn't have more than like four mana out at any given time. Breaker. All right, so your hand has these guys in it, sure. Are you ready for the Thunderdome, guys? Brum, 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 brum. Talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. Looking for a deputy or to draw a neoform, but I think that's a good game. Dang it. Let me say good games. Don't you dare don't you dare kick me out. They're gonna kick me out. Alright. We did it. I run into fracturing gust. Yeah, fracturing gust is rough. 
Uh, I do like this configuration, though. I think this is good. I think Seder and Shanner was a good find. I think uh, Settle the Wreckage is fine. I think uh, we want more spheres. Uh, I like the two drop slot now. I think this is good. I like I like where we're sitting right now, and we're at a little over two hours, so I'm gonna I'm gonna call it right here. But Bill Brown, thank you so much for the opportunity to play this deck. This deck was actually pretty fun, and I always like tweaking the uh, the green white based enchantment decks. So uh, had a good time. If you guys want to have any deck critiques from me, definitely check out my uh, Twitch profile or my Patreon page. There's links on how to do it in both of those, and uh, you guys can check that out there. But yeah, definitely. Uh, Definitely drawing a lot of cards. Yeah, I like I like I like eight sources because the thing was like before we had eight and uh, we had four eidolons or three eidolons, three Verdurin and three Mesa, so we had nine. So there was a lot of times we were like drawing uh, creatures that would help us draw cards, but we wouldn't draw the cards themselves. You know what I mean? So I like this better because now we have more like eidolon is always going to trigger on itself, and. Um, you know, it's always gonna it's always gonna trigger other other uh, like the other enchantment drawing cards as well. So like Seder and Seder Enchanters. I think this card's just better, right? Two two. This is also a cash trigger, which is nice because this is when it enters the battlefield. So if they even if they counter something, you're still gonna draw the card. I think Enchantress is still the is. No, nope, that's Enchant. Oh, Enchant is not gonna do it. Yeah, we'll try the whole thing. Uh, yeah, those are cast triggers too. So, either way, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. But uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.